Hello there, welcome back to more casual craft. Unless this is your first video of it, then welcome in general. Ah, oh, I remember this now. Yeah, Earth Creeper. I don't know how it managed to get through the wall like that, but whatever. Who am I to argue the physics of Minecraft? Ugh. Mm, it's dark. Alright, back. Back in the hole. Back in the hole. Hey, I thought I put you in the kitchen. Hmm. Yeah, well. Let's have a bit of a nap. Yeah! Hey. Get out of my face. Alright, let's... I guess clear this out. And, um... Guess you guys can watch this time. Normally I'd do this... Oh, bit of lag. The world's loading up fresh and new and ready and all this good stuff. Minecraft takes a toll on my computer. My computer's pretty damn good, but... Yeah. It still takes a toll. Because it's Minecraft. Yeah, we're getting this stuff done. Normally I'd cut all this out, but... Yeah, I don't want it. Sue me. <gasps> no, don't sue me. I don't have any money. Ugh. Panic. See you there. Little dirt block. Eh. Oh. Okay. Back to digging. Dig, 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 dig. Yeah, I'm nearly running out of things to do in this particular world. And by running out, I just mean what's left is just time consuming. But I'm going to record it all and do my best to entertain you while I do it. Hmm. Not quite sure how. I don't know any jokes. I mean, I do know jokes, but they're all terrible. Ow. That hurt my little legs. Oh. I'll clear all this out to that height. Yeah, I guess we can do that as well. Why not? First, we'll get rid of this monstrosity. Eh. Eh. Can't quite reach. How did I get the shovel? Oh, I cheated, didn't I? Yeah, I gotta stop cheating. But it's just so convenient. Ha. Ah. Rather than inconvenient. Uh, now I'm just talking crap. I know what they talk about. What do other people talk about when they're just doing mundane shit like this in a video game? Do other people do this mundane shit in a video game? I don't know. Normally I just don't record it, but I wanted to record this particular bit, because, yeah. Usually I'll play the game for an hour, but only record like 40 minutes of it. I try not to record too much at once, because, you know, people leave in comments, give me suggestions of what I should do next, and then it takes a while for me to do them. So I don't want to record for any more than an hour, but uh, yeah, it's sort of difficult to find the time to record, really. But uh, you know, whatevs, whatevs. Yeah, whatevs indeed. Yeah, still digging away. Hmm. So not much has happened in my world yet again and uh, you know just just normal things I guess like I had breakfast which was actually dinner because I woke up so late I'm on holidays from my TAFE course at the moment so you know I haven't had to really worry about that Hmm. 
I haven't been doing anything. I, I need to get out of the house and do things. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying really hard to think about stuff I've been doing the past, like, week. What have I been doing? Hmm. That's a very good question. I should record more. Uh, I probably should get out of the house more. That's what I should be doing. And the last time I got out of the house... <clears throat> oh, the last time I got out of my house was about a week ago. Just went around to a friend's place. Uh, just sort of hung out. Played Xbox. That um game, Trials, on uh, the Xbox Live Arcade thingy, Trials HD. That game's as fun as all, all beans. It's fun. It's fun as beans. Yeah. Really awesome game. Yeah, so, me and my fellows played that for a few hours. And then we watched a bit of the Jackie Chan's adventure cartoon thing. Which is just a weird show to watch. Because I used to watch it when I was a fair bit younger. And it's not at all how I remembered it. Ooh. Yeah, still entertaining. Um, what else? What have I been doing? I haven't been doing anything. Really? Oh, oh, I went to the dentist! Yeah! I went to the dentist. And, um... The dentist told me I needed to floss more! Because... I don't floss at all, I... You know... I just brush my teeth and that's the end of it. But, uh, apparently I need to floss because there was a bit of... A bit of concern with... A few of my teeth in my bottom jaw thing. The bottom teeth, right at the front. It was a little bit of build-up. Nothing to, like, panic about, but I really should floss to look after them. Although I did have to get a filling, because... Well, I got a filling years and years ago from, I guess, a terrible dentist, and it fell out uh, probably two years ago. I didn't worry about it, because it didn't hurt. It didn't seem to be doing anything, so I was like, yeah, whatever. I was a bit annoyed when it fell out, but uh, I quickly got over it, because I realized who gives a damn. And so I got a filling. And, um... Yeah. It wasn't bad. I originally wasn't going to... Damn it. I wasn't going to get the the anesthetic needle thingy because the needle is often worse than the actual filling. Like getting a filling doesn't hurt. it doesn't hurt basically unless um when they cuz what they got to do is like drill it out a bit to get it all nice and cleaned up and smoothed off a bit so they can put the filling in you know, so it doesn't fall out, like my last one did. But um, as they were doing that, they were sort of hitting the nerve a little bit, and the pain from that I would describe as one of the worst pains I have ever felt in my entire life. Second only to a needle I once got. Yes, there's a good old story. When I was about... Uh, 10, 11, I think. My wisdom teeth were, you know, popping through. And painful does not describe it well enough. Horrendously painful. Probably the fourth worst pain I've ever felt. And so... Oh, this looks done. I'll just clean it up a bit. And so what we had to do, because I was just in unbearable pain, like even talking about it now, I can, st I can still feel the pain in my jaw. 
I remember the pain. <laughs> it was... It was special. But because it was so bad, um, my dad called around a few places that removed the wisdom teeth to see if we could get one in. Well, get, a, get an appointment to get... Get them removed. Well, just one of them. The other ones haven't seemed to come through. Just yet. And uh, there, w there was this one guy. He wasn't very happy about it because it was sort of his day off or something. I don't remember exactly why, but he was pretty grumpy about having to run out and remove my tooth because I was in terrible agony. You know, whatever. And, um, because I was getting the tooth removed, I thought it would be, you know, I didn't want to be gassed because, yeah, it, I didn't, I didn't, basically. And uh, not a lot of places actually do that in Australia, where they gas you to remove teeth. They're doing it a bit more now, but back then it was just, it wasn't something they did, because it seemed unnecessarily risky. Because, you know, you, you can die from that gas. So it just seemed unnecessary to remove a, remove a tooth when they can just give you the needle. And I'll, I'll, I'll get to the story eventually. I'm, there's just a lot to set up. <laughs> uh, it's dark again. Okay. Yes, and... What happened was the guy... He, he was terrible. He injected the needle wrong. You stay in here. And what he had done is he'd actually injected it... Um, I guess into the tendon of my jaw the the tendon that makes your jaw move when you chew, talk, everything. And he injected it into that. It didn't numb the area around my tooth, but it stopped me from talking, basically. And I tried to explain to the man that it's still I can still feel it. You've the the anesthetic hasn't hasn't exactly worked because I can still feel my gum and my teeth and all that. I can still feel everything. That's right, I could feel my teeth. But I couldn't exactly communicate that. Ooh, you sneaky devil. It, it came out as... Yeah, I can't, I can't feel my... I can hear feel my teeth here. And he took that as... Yeah, go right on ahead and start drilling at my jawbone. And so, of course, I was screaming because that is the worst pain I have ever felt. Ugh, just sickening pain. And he kept drilling. And I was complaining, trying to tell him, my face isn't numb, I just can't move my jaw. And it was really, it was just unbearable. And the guy basically said, Shut up and quit your bitching. And just got back on to drilling into my jaw in order to remove a tooth, which I'm pretty sure was unnecessary. I don't think they do it that way anymore. I don't think he was actually drilling into my jaw, but it oh, bloody well felt like it. <laughs> Let's just say that. Oh, this looks good. I need something to eat. Oh, the cookies. Yeah, and after he was done, I, I was in tears. You know, ten-year-old kid getting their face... Oh, just the pain. And then from that... I wasn't able to fully open my mouth for about two years. It still hurt to open my mouth, and even today, I can still feel it on the right-hand side of my jaw. I can still feel it. And uh, basically, if I talk for too long, it starts to hurt, which, you know, is very inconvenient, considering what I do. Yeah, 
talk for extended periods of time. So, you know, a bit backwards, but whatever. Let's make this a bit prettier. Oh, God, I'm not doing all this. Screw this. Why is there fog? I thought I turned that off. Oh well. Yeah. 